we're off off to uh, do a little clinic at, at a feedlot and it's not far down the road here this morning and it's gonna be you know kind of a, it's gonna do some horsemanship stuff but it's also gonna be you know a lot of beginner cutting it's a cutting horse club that's putting it on so it'll be mostly mostly about cutting and <clears throat> we're running just a hair late and it, it got me to thinking when I when I was hustling around this morning because I uh, thought I had more time than I did so when I got the horses jingled in there seems to be kind of a fall feel in the air right now when, and when, when the weather changes when you get a little cool air like that your horses your horses tend to change so ones that were really good to catch all the time and what we do is we jingle them out of a big pasture into a smaller pen like that and then they're, they're pretty easy to catch but geez I, I was in a hurry to go and they're running around like crazy, acting silly, because like I said, the weather's kind of changed. It feels like there's some fall in here. <clears throat> and it got me to thinking about something that I talk about all the time, too. And then I reminded myself, yeah, well, maybe I need to do a little bit more of that. And what that is, is when you're, when you're going to go catch your horse. So you might have a horse in mind that you're going to go catch. And you go into the pen to catch him. You should take the time and make the time to maybe go catch one you're not going to use. Get them caught up, rub on them, and turn them loose. And then the next day you might be using another horse and you would go catch another horse that you're not going to use to start with. You catch them, rub on them a little bit, turn them loose. So your horse gets to not always equating you getting him getting caught with him having to go to work. Sometimes you're going to catch him and do no more than rub on him. You know, and a lot of this stuff is... <clears throat> People don't realize that they're training their horse every time they interact with their horse. It's not when they just saddle them up and ride them and go work on whatever event or whatever pursuit that they're, they go with, you know. Anytime they interact with their horse, they're training on their horse. They're setting up how your horse perceives you. So if your horse kind of had it in its mind that there's lots of times you just catch them up and rub on them, it would make them easier to catch rather than every time you catch them, you put them to work. So it was a good thought for me to remind myself because th this sort of thing always happens when you're in a hurry. And, and horses read read your, your temperament, how you're feeling. So if you're in a hurry, you're kind of rushed, they read that as well, which would make them stand off and maybe you know check you out a little bit more. So it's well worth your time to go and catch them up and rub on them, kick them loose, and then go get the one that you want. Make a point of it, it'll help you out.